In this session, I'll demonstrate the concept of using animation for various objects within the slide in a presentation. Any of the objects in a slide can be animated so that whenever you click on the spacebar or the mouse click or clicker, those objects can be presented one at a time or multiple units at a time, multiple objects at a, at a time. It can be uh, animation of um, pictures, of um, uh, shapes, it could be animation of regular text and such. To animate bullet lists, as you go here under animation, click on the bulleted list, and then the easiest would be to choose what you want the animation to be. For example, here we want to apply the appear animation. And those will appear one at a time. So notice one, two, three here. These numbers mean that they will come one after the other once we click on them. To test this, notice we click on slideshow. And those objects here, we did not apply animation yet, and therefore they come in with a slide when it's presented. Now those items, notice they come one at a time after I click on it. To customize this even further, what I would suggest that you try is uh, actually click on the animation pane option right here, and notice it shows the items that were animated earlier. Now notice it's a little double arrow here. You can expand the contents and it says that that's number one over here. This is number two. That's number three. Now here, notice you have, you can start this. It says start on click. That's what these numbers one, two, three are. Start on click, start on click and such. If we wanted number two here to come at the same time, to be presented at the same time as number one, all you'd have to do is click on the drop down here on the right and then choose start with the previous. Now notice those two will start together because it's one and one and then the next one it'll come by itself. If I present it, notice I'm pressing spacebar once here, the two came together and then the third one by itself. Now you can add animation to any of the other objects that I mentioned earlier. You can, let's say, add here for the PowerPoint image here. You can simply click on Add Animation and then choose to appear or however you want the animation to be shown. However, keep in mind not to overdo animation when you're doing a presentation. The point is the message that you're conveying. Let's say that I want this picture because right now it's going to come as number three. It's going to be presented as number three. If I want it to come together with these two items here, what you will do is drag this here where it says number three, picture three. And notice if you click on it, it highlights it. Drag it to wherever you want it on the previous sequence. Then click on the drop down here and choose to start with the previous. That means that the, all these three items here, these three objects, which would be this, this, and the picture, they'll be presented at the same time. So if I go and present this at this point here, notice all three were presented at the same time. Then you can do the same thing for these other objects. So I can click here on this other object, click on add animation, choose however you want this animation to appear, and then choose the order of it as well. So the same thing for the shape here as well, choose animation, however you want it to appear. If you want two objects again to come together, just click on the drop down, choose to come with the previous, or you can have it timed, or you can have advanced effects and options as well. So you could say you want a specific kind of sound to be appearing, that kind of animation, and, and uh, after the animation, what should happen. Uh, as far as the timing, should it be on a click or should it be delayed after so many seconds? And then the text, how should it be displayed there? So it's a lot of customizations that you can do to the actual animation of the objects here. So for now, I'm going to do it to start with the previous. And now notice uh, they will start the text here. The two items will come together along with the picture down here. Notice they are all number one. Number two, this text alone and then these other two images will come together. So here's how it looks. Now, in the cases where you have smart art, 
and smart art is this type of uh, art like this it's pretty similar but there's one difference to it so you go under animations and then you click on animation pane and then you add some kind of animation to these objects now notice the whole object here is selected the whole smart art is selected you click on add animation and pick any of those animations that you prefer it doesn't matter just don't make it too much let's say we want to appear and now notice here under the animation option there are the effect options as well because by default if I play it right now without doing anything else it's just going to present it it's going to appear separately but we can customize it so each one of those items can come separately and the way you do that is by clicking on the effect options and then choose one at a time and now what will happen here is is that these items plan do check and act will be presented at different sequences uh, one at a time so if I go and present this and test it notice you could go and talk about the continuous improvement process you have the planning stage you have the doing part of it then the checking and then acting on it and and so on so it's more effective when you're using this type of bringing each step at separate times by using the smart art and again the trick there was after you apply the smart art to it you have this effect button here that you can pick if you're doing a presentation a very fancy presentation you would want to spend quite a bit of time on each object here it needs to be thought well and it needs to, it's time consuming that's why initially as we were learning about PowerPoint I was emphasizing doing the outline of the PowerPoint first.